Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day um, and happy new year to all of you guys. Happy 2022. I hope this year will be amazing and interesting for you guys. Uh, that being said, uh, I'll be starting a new series. That's the Service Cloud Consultant uh, certification series. And as usual, it's free. Uh, so let's dive in. So today what I'll be doing, I'll be doing a uh, look. Uh, I'll be doing um, exam guide uh, discussion the things which you should be aware of and the topics which I'll be covering uh, in the long run, right? Okay, so, you know, I'm in the Trailhead page. So, you know, you can go to the trailhead.salesforce.com and look for Service Cloud Consultant Certification and, you know, go to Exam Guide. It will take you here. So this is a consultant uh, certification. It's very handy if you are a functional consultant, right? I mean, the good thing is that you don't have to know how to code because they don't expect you to know programming, which is great I mean, if you are a functional consultant. But that being said, if you are a technical consultant, I would still encourage you to you know, go and take the certification because this is amazing. So, and it's uh, this certification, uh, especially from a New Zealand market perspective, I've seen a huge demand um, on a service cloud space. So it's good to have the certification because when you prepare, when you prepare for the certification, you get to learn so many things which you might have missed uh, during your regular service cloud implementation. Okay. That being said, one thing I just also want to mention that uh, you got to have administrator certification as a prerequisite. If you do not have it, then you can't take it directly. You have to get this one first because I think this is a pretty good thing what sales was done because when you go and opt for admin cert, when you go and take admin certification, right, you'll get to learn different aspects of it like forecasting, process builders, uh, though I, I would say that process builder will be obsolete uh, in, in few years time. Uh, you can learn about flows, you can learn about um, accounts, contacts, you know, bit of service cloud, um, you know, cases. So I believe admin cert is pretty cool. So if you haven't done so, I would highly encourage you to go and take administrative certification. So I will not encourage service cloud consultant certification as your first certification because you can't take it as a first. You need to have at least admin, okay? Or even if you have, say, for instance, a platform developer one, which is great, I would still encourage you to go and take administrator if you are planning to go and get uh, the Salesforce uh, Service Cloud Consultant certification. Okay, let's dive into the exam guide. Uh, so winter 22 release, uh, depending upon the time of the year uh, or which year you're watching it. So this might change, right? It might be winter 24 or winter 25, right? So this might get changed. So, and just one more thing, please let me know, right? When things get changed, when you when you when you believe that ah, oh, this thing has been changed, so that I can update my content, right? Because I, I make a lot of courses, right? It's very difficult to keep track of it, so I would highly rely on you guys to tell me, hey, can you go and change that for me, please? Because you know, Salesforce has changed the look and feel altogether. I'll be happy to change it, and I can assure you, I will change it for you guys and update it with the latest content. So yeah, that's the promise I'm gonna make. And another thing, I will move all of my codes to Inspire the platform. As as you've already noticed, I migrated most of the stuff. I still kept a lot of things in YouTube. I will still do the same. But the main uh, the main um, thing what I have in mind, uh, perhaps by 2023, 2024, uh, or perhaps by 2025, I'll get I'll get out of YouTube and I will just purely focus on. Uh, improving my platform, Inspire the Solution platform, and perhaps migrate to different technology, you know, better space and, and better look and feel. That's something I have in pipeline. So that's one of the reasons why I often tell you guys, if you haven't, uh, you know, subscribe, you don't have to subscribe. Pretty much you can log into my platform and, and can start learning from there. So, you know, the reason why I tell you guys that, because, you know, I will pull a plug on, uh, Put a kill switch to my YouTube channel eventually. So, so if you do not want any kind of distraction, you can please refer to my platform. You will get every content there. Most of the content will be free, except the architecture one. Okay, sorry I digress. My apologies for that. Um, so let's look at the the passing score first. Sixty-seven percent. That's the passing score. Pretty decent score. I know it's pretty high, but you know. 
given the fact that it's a consultant certification, so they have a little bit of expectation from you guys and, and 60 um, multiple choice questions, which, which is pretty uh, common for any other Salesforce certification. Okay, so now the kind of audience they expect, right? You need to have at least a couple of years consulting experience, doesn't matter on Salesforce space. You can have consulting experience or any other platform. But that being said, I would highly encourage you to have at least six months hands-on uh, Salesforce experience. Uh, I mean, if you don't have any Salesforce experience on a real-time environment, I would not highly encourage you to go and take the certification. I mean, it's okay if you wanted to take it, but you know, the problem is, you know, people assume that you know just by taking certification they will become expert. That's not the case, though. I'm afraid, right? You can't beat the real experience. Certification is just a uh, will get you uh, will get your uh, uh, foot in the door, right? Uh, but it will not. You know, gets you to the very high level position if that's what you're after. You still need to prove yourself. You still need to have the real life experience. Okay. But that being said, if this is something where you wanted to go for it, please go for it. Right. I mean, I'm a pro cert guy. So I will highly encourage if you're after uh, any kind of certification, you know, I, I will support you guys. So, okay. So, uh, what else will suggest, right? You need to have at least, you know, two to five years experience. This is pretty high. Like I said, as a senior business analyst, or if you're a functional consultant or technical consultant, um, you need to have a you know understanding of uh, Salesforce product lines, uh, which is pretty obvious because you, you need to understand a few basic concepts before you even uh, try to take this one, right? And all other stuff, right, which is normal. And so let's look at the, the things which they cover. They talk about industry knowledge. Um, you know, they expect you some of the uh, benefits of knowledge base and you know other aspects, you know KPIs and business challenges, implementation strategy, which is fifteen percent, uh, normally like a scenario based question, right? Then service cloud solution design, sixteen percent, uh, knowledge management, nine percent, okay, interaction channel, ten percent, uh, case management, which is pretty important, fifteen percent. Uh, contact center, 5%, integration, data management, 5%, service control, 15%, which is pretty important in my opinion. Okay, let's look at the content, right, which I'll be covering. Right, so I'll be covering from Trailhead because it's pretty stable and organized in a very efficient way. Um, see, the, the first industry knowledge, like I said, service cloud, you know, as usual, you need to know what service cloud is all about, right, because this is all about service cloud. Connect Center, then you know the talk of a super badge. I would highly encourage you to do super badge so that you get hands on. Um, then Connect Center transformation, service card rollout strategy. Rollout strategy is very important, right? Not just uh, only in terms of service cloud, but if you are an architect, right? Uh, it's very important you understand a rollout strategy. Could be a framework you are rolling out. It could be a product you are rolling out. You need to understand the pros and cons behind a rollout strategy. So the same thing applies to Service Cloud as well. So this is pretty important in my opinion. Uh, customer centric discovery and you know Service Cloud efficiency, service uh, flow for service, pretty interesting topic. Trust me, this is pretty amazing. Um, knowledge base, one of my favorites, right? Um, so customization, knowledge base, knowledge search basics, pretty cool. Um, interaction channel is one of my favorite as well. Uh, social customer service strategies, um, and we talk about omnichannel, uh, artificial intelligence. Mm, it's not really AI. What are you guys thinking? Uh, it's just a superficial thing, but we'll cover that anyways. Um, embedded service SDK, which is pretty cool, right? Um, then mobile app rollout, which is a very interesting topic. I mean, I'm really looking forward to teach you guys this specific topic. I'm really excited. Uh, case management, super important. Um, and, you know, service metrics, uh, we talk about monitoring, integration, uh, large data volume, which is, yeah, it is okay. Um, so I'll cover this uh, in Platform Developer too, so I won't be making an extra course. So I'll be probably referring you guys to the same course, which I covered a few months ago. 
I haven't, I mean, you know, things haven't changed much, so it's pretty much the same. Okay, then web chat. So, you know, pretty much we're going to cover all of this, right? And I'll be doing this, I think it will take approximately a month. And so we will finish this probably by first or second week of February, right? And after that, you know, I'll be doing another course. So, and I would highly encourage you to study with me, right? And then, uh, you know, do hands-on. It's very important. And perhaps find a study partner, which is will be very beneficial in my opinion. And try to create a scenario, work together, or even join a uh, group. Or even you can give a talk, right? You know, you don't have to know, you know, in depth. You can pick a topic and just say, hey, I wanted to give a presentation. That way, you know, you will learn better. So do whatever works for you guys, you know, as long as it works. So that's what I believe. All right. That's pretty much I wanted to uh, cover today. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Take care.